Good morning, this is North Carolina Prepper. Um, one of my users, uh, Mr. Do, 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 Mr. Old Clunker, 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 uh, has requested I do a follow-up on the window farm and focus on the airlift system. Well, as you can see, I haven't done anything with it in a while. Just been really busy at work, but I am going to make this video on the airlift system for him specifically. And everybody else wants to see how to do it. So, we're going to have to take it basically. You need one one in your one tube in your reservoir, which is basically um or his aquarium in his case. And you have that one tube, then you have it come out of your reservoir, and you want it to come down in a big drop, at least a foot. So let me get this from up here because I got it hanging up there so it don't leak. So you have it down a foot. The airlift system. Oops. That that was a foot. Okay. So we're coming out of the bottle. This is the main tube from the bottle up there. Show that in detail. There we go. So we follow this tube out and it's full of water and it comes up to a T valve. So let me focus on that. T valve down here. Okay. So it goes to your T valve. And once this tube is full of water, you let the rest of the tube on the airlift system, this goes up to the top of the, the container, I'll show in a minute. You want this all full of water as well. And basically, you have a check valve here so water flows, or so air flows one way, into your T valve. And you see there's an air bubble there. Air naturally wants to rise upwards. So when the, when the pump is set at this angle, upwards, it flow. oops, it's starting to go backwards now. It will, water will flow upwards. Or try to find its own level. So naturally, it will go up to about about here, or the level of the water. But um, once you get air flowing through this pump, it'll lift up the system. Let's see if I can blow it. Too hard. So I'm going to go ahead and put a pump on. I'm going to go ahead and start the pump. Plug it in. I'm using a top fin pump here, and I'm only using one of the one of the outlets. So let me pump that, plug that in. Okay, it's kind of loud. But let me focus. Let me plug it in here. I want to focus on, I'm just going to plug it in like that. But I want to focus on the, uh, the pump mechanism down there, on how that's working. As you can see, it's going upward. Air wants to rise. Now it's without any bubbles in it or any water in the main tube. So if I just put air in like this, I'll try to if I can plug that in. Hold on. It's not going. Okay. There we go. So as the pump is down, it's out of here. The other line's going down to the T valve to the other line. See, the, the main line's coming, it's drawing water from here on down around here by gravity. And then it's coming to the T valve, which is pushing air in. And just the water here is trying to be full in this one line. This line's trying to be full, and it just pushes it up. Basically, it's a bubble lift system. And everything's starting to drip again. Uh, originally, I planned to put like um, chopped onions in here or some sprouts and do it that way. And it'll run once it fills up. See, it's just now getting, it hasn't got down to here yet. Give me a second. Now that's the reservoir refill. And you would just use an aquarium instead of your. Um, Models. I I haven't did mine yet, basically because I've been very busy and I keep a blanket up there on the wall, and uh, I don't want the fish to cook or freeze right now. I need to probably make like a shelf and put the um, the bottle over here somewhere. I want like, but I do want at least a foot drop coming out, going around, and down, it's down there. Like I said, it's just airlift. It's a T line in the airlift. It's 
very simple pump and the bubbles going up and once they get to a certain level they're pushed up by the pump instead of naturally trying to go and I have a variable pump so we can control the speed here so I can slow it down if I want We can slow it down to a slow drip on whatever we need. We just don't want it to totally stop like that because I don't want it to. I don't want it to blow backwards. I want gravity. See, there's not not a lot of water weight in the tube right now. It's all full of little tubes. So we turn the power up. It could go backwards now. Yep, it's going backwards. See? See that? So it blew backwards because I let it slow down too much. And it lost its gravity assist. In that case, we have to disconnect the pump and uh, re get this tube back full of water and resiphon it. So I'll have to disconnect it and do it and then redo it. So let me, um, let me see that here. Stop this. And then I'd have to actually, I'll have to pull that line and siphon it. So I'll just do that. Show you. What you do now is the reprimer thing. You let the water out of the drip tube so there's no weight pressure on it. You got to reprime your siphon. And reprime it. There we go. So it's reprimed, you can see. Then you got to grab your other line, which has no water weight on it, and let it fill up. Then, you got your basket or water kit the other way. And you got to bring it down level. Get as much drop as you can. And let it fill up. Which one's which? Okay. The drip tube has to fill up. Then you need to make sure that there's water weight on the drip line there, which is going to be your water level there. As you can see here. Right where it, there it is. Get your white level there. And the important thing here is to have the lift line above your T valve or your T adapter when you start it. Otherwise, it'll blow back the other way. So, let me do it like this. Let me go ahead and put the pump back in. Go back in line. Just like that. And we want to turn on the pump. Make sure it doesn't flow backwards. starting to flow backwards so I may have to pinch the uh, the primary drop siphon and there we go once again and you see it's now flowing again. So, there you go. And like I said, you can adjust the speed. I just leave it on full all the time. I want to plan to use it. So, that's the gist of the airless system. That's pretty detailed. If you have any more questions, let me know. But it's just a matter of getting it flowing in the right direction. And then it drip. And you can, like I said, you can use fish or hydroponic chemicals or whatever. I'd like to use fish, but like I said, I haven't had a chance to really mess with this, so. Alright, there you go. Smoking on Pepper. Please rate, subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.